Well, greetings once again, my fellow Star Trek fans. I hope you're doing great. I hope your fall season is going well. And I hope you're getting ready for Thanksgiving. And it's hard to believe it's already next week. I got another little goodie to share with you guys. Now, when it comes to Playmates, I am a big fan of the Playmates from the 90s with all the Star Trek ships. And I've shown you quite a few. Um, matter of fact, I was thinking that I think I'm going to go and redo some of the videos because... When I had first shown them to you, I was using a camcorder and it was supposedly high definition, but the videos are just terrible. And the, the program that I have now is so much better. I love the power director and I've got the high definition with the, uh, the iPhone and it's just amazing. So I think I'm gonna go and redo some of that. But what I wanna show you guys today is from that same company, um, Playmates. To my delight, and to many of a lot of other people's delight, they started doing Star Trek again, the ships. And what I want to show you guys today is actually a reissue of the classic, the beautiful USS Enterprise, NCC-1701. And just by looking at it off the bat, I can tell that the stand is different. We'll see when we get in there. Looking at the ship itself, um, you know, I don't really know. That might be a good video. If you guys want me to do a video comparing this one to the original release, I think that would be an interesting video. Uh, we can do that. This has got the lights and battle sound effects. Push the buttons. This is relatively new. I think this is 2021 release. Let's see if the batteries are still good. And they are. And I remember the other one having the same sound. There's the red alert. And photon torpedoes. I'm trying to think of what the other one had. I know the other one had the bridge, the sounds from the bridge, and it had the, um, I think it had the phasers. Like I said, we can do a comparison video. That'll be fun. And this is from the Star Trek universe. Playmates. It's nice to see Playmates get back into the ships. Although, I, you know, I wish this one had... What I liked about the other one is they had um, collector's item numbers. And they assigned each one with a number. And towards the end, when they, you know... Towards the end of them producing ships, they stopped doing it. But I wish they would have done that for this one. But anyway... You can see the box, USS Enterprise, the original series. And now they do the Star Trek universe. And for some reason, they have a little bend on the corner. So, you got the beautiful picture of the ship. Let's see what's on the side. Maybe you can get, uh, actually this is the bottom. And this was a 2022 release, excuse me. You can see all of the information. I believe this would be TKX2174. I said it's nice to see Playmates <clears throat> return. 63058. PlaymatesStarTrekToys.com. Toys? No, these are collector's items. Right, guys? All right. Let's see the check out the top of the box. USS Enterprise, NCC-1701. You can see a beautiful picture of my beloved Enterprise. And let's see, the side of the box is the, um, looks like the warp drive. The features, multiple light up effects, ship and battle sounds, display stand. Let's check out the other side of the box. And we've got the Star Trek Universe. NCC-1701. All right, let's check out the back. Let's see what we've got here. I think the last version of the Enterprise that Playmates actually created before this one, um, 
I think it was from the reboot, the Star Trek, um, the franchise reboot with the movie. And I think that was a 2009 Enterprise. Incidentally, I had shown you guys that one as well. The engine the cells light up. You can see you push the buttons, the bridge, lights and battle sounds. Light up impulse. Oh, cool. I don't remember. I don't think the other one did had uh, light up impulse engines. And this looks like the backs of the nacelles light up, which would be interesting. And a deflector dish. And she's, well, she's gorgeous. She's the Enterprise. USS Enterprise ship. <clears throat> original series in 2063 earth made its first contact with an alien species launching the planet and its inhabitants onto the interstellar stage the next century united earth established a space exploration and defense service starfleet and co-founded the united federation of planets a benevolent organization of hundreds of worlds Chronicles of Starfleet are collectively known as Star Trek Universe. To, in 2063, oh, I guess it goes into a different language. Okay, so that's nice. Nice little bit of uh, Starfleet information, the origins of Starfleet Command. I'll tell you guys what, why don't we take this over to the desk where there's going to be a lot more room and light and i'll show you guys this brand new playmates uss enterprise ncc 1701 all right let's look at this beautiful beautiful ship our beloved enterprise um let's see there's tape that holding we're gonna open up the other side instead i don't know why they did this Maybe to be different, but I should have opened it up to begin with on this. All right, let's try that again. Um, all right, it's in a tray, a plastic tray. And I'll tell you guys, I like the tray a lot better than the um, the way they were before. They were packaged. They had those metal wires that kind of wrapped it around a hundred thousand times on the cardboard box that's everything in the box so we're gonna put let's see i can put this so it's not in the way let's see will that stay like that all right first thing we noticed on the bottom and let's see, we got some paperwork. And this is for the USS Enterprise. You can see how it's going to go on a stand. 2022 Playmates. This is item 63058. If your USS Enterprise does not work, try resetting. To reset, slide the switch to off and then slide the switch to the on mode. Now that's relatively simple. If the USS Enterprise is not working, try replacing the batteries. To change the batteries, unscrew the battery cap, take out the old batteries, and replace them with three double AAA batteries. Replace battery cap. And it goes into a different language. Slide the switch from demo to on. <clears throat> you can see it's kind of like the diamond select. We have the, the, uh, the demo and the actual play. Non-rechargeable batteries are not to be recharged. Rechargeable batteries ought to be removed from the toy before being charged. This goes on to talk about the battery safety and different things. And it's relatively straightforward. Um, you put the nacelles, the nacelle pylons attach into the secondary hull and yeah, that's basically it. And one thing worth noting, the, um, the original release of this you had to put the stickers on. They were actual stickers that came with the uh, the ship. But what I notice about this one is that they're already on. So let me go ahead and get the Enterprise. Let's see if I can take her out of the 
plastic tray. Without, well, let's try it. We'll do it in a cell first. Well, well, that sucks. Right off the bat, I can see a defect. Well, you can see the contacts because the uh, the Bassard collectors are going to light up. And nice, look at the back. You can tell those are going to light up as well. So let's put that to the side. You can see the screws that hold everything together. And again, the decals are already on. Or in this case, the stickers. And I love that they got the, uh, the windows on the cell pylons. That's when I was finishing Joe's model. I had put the uh, the lights in the nacelle pylons because I think that's important because on the show you can see that the lights were lit up. And you can see the inner panel, the chiller grills. Again, I put, um, I lit mine when I did the 1350 scale. They had said that they wanted to light it for the show, but it wasn't in the budget. Now, let's see, let's get this out first. You can see I almost couldn't even see it. That's pretty cool. It's in clear plastic, and this is the base. Uh, let me put this over here for now. And it's got an arm. And it looks like there's something tying it in. So let me go ahead. I need to cut it. You can see the, uh, the screws. Nice. All right. The only thing left is the Enterprise herself. I want to be delicate taking her out. Here we are. And you can see it comes in a plastic tray. I like the plastic tray. Um, I like it more than the cardboard tray because it's more durable. Okay. Look at her. She's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I noticed there is more detail on this one because the other one didn't have the grid lines. Uh, like I said, in the future, we'll do a video, a comparison video of the old versus the new, and that should be fun. All right, first thing I think we should do, show you guys the battery compartment right there. And here's the switch. I'm sure you can see that it's on demo. So we're gonna slide it all the way over to on and look, it lights up as soon as you do that. Love it, look at the back. All right. And to put the nacelles in, let's see. So I don't want to just jam them in. See, they kind of slide. As you can see, the little contact points right there contact points around the uh, the back side so again we don't want to slam it in there but look at that she's gorgeous let me try to widen the shot a little bit love her oh she's the enterprise of course I love her And what's interesting is the windows on this one, as opposed to the, the last one, is they're, they're recessed and they're colored. And you can see in the, the saucer pylon, the same thing, they're recessed. Actually, wherever there's a window, they're recessed, so that's nice. And we've got the, uh, the sensor dome. 
And on the other model, this did not light up. And we got the bridge area with B and C decks. So why don't we go ahead and do the first button. Nice, photon torpedoes. Love it. You can see the, the lights that come on. B and C decks, the bridge area. The impulse engines light up. I like that. The Bassard collectors. And if you look in the back, oh, let's do that again. Oh, now we got the, the phasers. But when you push the button and you get the effect, the lights stay on. And, okay, one of the lights isn't working. Here it is. Just need to be adjusted. So, we got the back of the nacelles. That's interesting. I like that. I've always thought about lighting up my models back there. Um, but you never see them lit on a show. Um, I did like the nacelle pylons because I have seen that on the show. Let's see what else we got from that first button. Back to the photon torpedoes. You can see the sensor dome and all the lights underneath. The saucer section, a primary hull, light up. And we've got, again, B and C decks along with the bridge and it's more of a paint for this for the registry markings as opposed to a sticker whereas on the side on the cells you can see it's it's a sticker underneath again this is more looks appears to be like painted on very nice and there's a marking over here I'm not sure what that is I don't know what that's supposed to be, what these markings are, because that's not on the bottom of the Enterprise. Um, nice. And we've got the, uh, let's show you guys, the shuttle bay. You can see the shuttle bay doors and the little lights. You know, I'm tempted to actually paint this and make it look a little more. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it the way it is to show you guys. And let's go to the second button. Nice. Red alert. Just beautiful. I'm sorry. I go always gush on in the Enterprise. She's... She's the one crush that I had in my childhood that is still strong today. What else do we got? So that's the red alert. You get the two sounds of the red alert. Nice. That actually sounds like the red alert on the refit. That's a nice little touch. Okay, what else we got? Back to the red alert. And we got the last button. Let's see what this does. Of course, hailing frequencies. And that beloved bridge sound. Love it. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put the lights out so we can check out the lights a little bit better. Let me make sure it's dark where the window light isn't coming in. And let's see. Let me reach the switch. All right. Let's do the. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. I'll show you guys the back of the impulse engines. And we've got the back of the nacelles. That's a really nice touch. What do you guys think? Is that cool? 
or is that overdoing it? I like the fact that uh, they did that. Because I always wondered, you know, they, they like I s said, they had interviews where they wanted to light the chiller grills, but they just didn't have the budget. I wonder if it was the same thing with the backs of the nacelles. I'm going to try to research and see if I can find um, maybe a Matt Jeffries interview where he talks about lighting up the back of the nacelles. Incidentally, um, I'm not sure what episode it was, but if you remember, early in season one, this is before the show kind of defined itself. If you remember, the Enterprise, when she would fire her phasers, it was actually the photon torpedoes coming out. Um, I don't remember which episode. Was it Balance of Terror? When they're arming the phasers and, and it was the photon torpedoes that actually left the ship. But as the, season, as the seasons went on, Star Trek became more defined. And I got some interesting tidbits. I'm going to be doing more episodes of the little behind-the-scenes interesting tidbits of the series. And I'm actually going to start branching out into the Star Trek The Next Generation um, because I'm doing the USS Enterprise C model kit, the brand new release from Polar Lights. And I want to do yesterday's Enterprise, so I'm going to review that episode and break it down and see if we can find um, some behind-the-scenes little goodies and tidbits. Let's see the bridge sound. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, like the Diamond Select has these hidden little gems, like where you push the buttons or you get different sound effects. I wonder if there's anything um, into this one. Let's try holding down the first button and see if what it does, or if it does anything. Let's wait for the lights to go out. And we'll hold it down. I wonder if that's going to keep the lights on. One of the things I like about the diamond select, nope, it doesn't. So that one doesn't do anything. So let's try the second one. Maybe it keeps the lights on. Maybe when you push the second button. Nope. Let's try the third one. Again, it's worth a try. You know, like the little goodies, like um, I had shown you guys the Diamond Select Enterprise A, uh, the relatively newer one. And when you held the button down, you were actually able to get a whole different batch of sounds from the buttons as well as having the lights stay on. So I love it when they do things like that. But she's just beautiful. And the, the plastic is very thick and durable, so she's very sturdy. To me, she feels a little better built than the original release because it's the heavy plastic and you've got the screws. The other one, um, I believe, was held together with the glue and this one is just much more solid. Again, it's too bad about that. That sucks. <laughs> All right, let's check out that base. 
As you can see the base, Starfleet insignia. And so let's see if this This might just be for design. We'll see. Okay, so you can see how we put this together. There are the little tabs, and there are little areas where the tabs go into, and clicks into place, just like that. So that's pretty simple. So you can move the arm So let's try it straight up for now. And we'll put the ship on um, right in here. You can see it's, it's a square shape. And this goes right in. And you can hear the click. Just like that. So you can display your beautiful Enterprise. And you can, let's make her look like she did in uh, when she's going up to escape Earth's gravitational pull. I think that's Return to Tomorrow, where she went back in time into the 60s. Let's see, put her going forward a little bit, maybe a little to the side. Yeah, beautiful, let's light her up. You can see again how, how solidly built she is, where the stand, the stand is solid too, but because the ship is so heavy and solid, you can see it's kind of wobbly. Um, it is sturdy though. You don't have to worry about, about it breaking, maybe about it knocking over because it is kind of top heavy. Let's turn her around, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So let me go ahead. I'm going to take you off the uh, the tripod, and we'll go around the uh, the Enterprise. Let me say that. And let's do some. I like the new little improvements. Like I said, the impulse engines lighting up is a really nice little feature. Love the phasers, photon torpedoes. dish. Zoom in. Let's turn her around. Show you guys that really cool feature of the back of the nacelles lighting up. Go in. See her uh, shuttle bay. The Enterprise has a very nice lovely fanny. <laughs> you can see the observation platform on top. See, let's slide her up again. Kirk here. So, what do I think of this? First of all, I'm happy that it's been re released. And I love the Enterprise and I love the, uh, the models from Playmates. And this one is much more solidly built. It's got more sound effects. And it's got more lights. Like I said the impulse engines light up. As does the backs of the nacelles. And if memory serves, the, um, the original release, I don't think the bridge lit up. I'm not sure. 
I don't remember if the bridge area lit up, but this one lights up, as well as B and C decks. Let me show you guys. And the Sensa Dome on this one lights up, as well as the decks above. And I know the other one didn't do that. And this one is more, um, it's, it's heavier. And you can see it's solid and put together with screws. And what I'm gonna do, a future video, guys, we're actually gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. That'll be fun. I like the fact that the lights stay on this time. Beautiful. I'd like them to do a um, the Klingon battle cruiser. I would love that because they didn't do that before. They did do the um, the Romulan ship. They did that, and that was really cool. But they didn't do the Klingon ship. I would love for them to do the Klingon ship, you know, the D7. That would be really cool. And of course the Romulan ship again, or maybe even a K7. That would be really nice. Maybe a shuttlecraft. So I don't know what the plans are. If I see any upcoming products from Playmates, of course I'll put them up because I've done so many of the Playmates. I really like Playmates. Playmates, Diamond Select, um, really high quality collector items. I know, they, they, they call them toys, but come on. We're collectors, right guys? But they're still fun to play with. And I hope you have as much fun watching me play with this and take it out of the box and show you guys everything as I do actually demonstrating it for you. Because it's a lot of fun. You know? Think about it, guys. In the difficulties of life, there are stresses, pressures, there's bills, you know, there's always going to be a problem. Nobody has the perfect life. But I tell you what, it's nice to be able to escape into Star Trek, especially going back with me to the one thing, going back to my childhood that made me feel great. I loved Star Trek, and my, my sweetheart was the Enterprise. I've always loved her. And I think it's just amazing that I can go back and relive sometimes the first time that I've seen her on, sta on screen where I just fell in love with her. So my friends, if you are curious on what the new Playmates USS Enterprise looked like, I hope to satisfy your curiosity. And I will keep a lookout for more Star Trek Playmates collector items. And you can better believe that I'll put them up for you guys. We'll do the demonstration, I'll put up the instructions, and I'll do some more info on the subject. So my friends, thank you so much for watching, and until the next video, live long and prosper.